questions? Uh, I like pretty much both presentations, and I have many questions, but I'll just make one question. And I think most of us are fully aware of how big and how tempting it is to ask after any human interaction, how did you like it? At least being a normal, I am fully aware of that. You're tempted to ask it. But uh, many times it is more useful to ask this question, if you are to ask it, how did you like it, after some delay. Uh, at least in my teaching experience, uh, it is so. Uh, I think all of us, or many of us, have the experience of having been uh, strongly influenced mm -hmm. in a very positive way by some teachers who maybe we didn't like very much mm -hmm. at the very moment they were yeah. teaching us. So I, my question is, do, do you know of any research and follow-up or delayed assessment yeah. Yeah. about... Yeah. Uh, uh, at least a part of the, <coughs> the answer is uh, some studies that uh, were done early as before to them and showed high positive correlations between student evaluation of teaching and alumni ratings. Mm -hmm. So when uh, students who graduated were asked a few years mm -hmm. later, from how did you uh, look, look back again on that course, then they saw uh, very high positive correlations. And, and how do these correlate with uh, the assessments, uh, the evaluations made on the spot? Uh, By students. Yeah, yeah well, the long term correlation. ones with the ones they did on the spot. They kept liking the ones, the same yeah, teachers, yeah, they yeah, changed yeah, their yeah, minds. Yeah, so, so the, yeah, yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't know of any follow up study. So the, the only way to do this is with a follow up study. No, 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 that's that's the subject, no, the same no, subject no. twice. No, then you are, uh, then you are assuming that the, there is a generation uh, of, of um, an, an effect of uh, cohorts. <laughs> is what they, what these studies did was eva letting uh, students evaluate a course and then ask alumni at the same time to evaluate the course as well. And courses that were uh, rated high by students were also rated high by alumni. Yeah, I am assuming that people change that. It must be a bias. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know of any follow-up study in which students were mm -hmm. re-asked to evaluate it, because that's what you mean. Eh? Mm -hmm. I don't know if there was such a study. Yeah, I wanted to kind of follow up on what you said. I, I've argued for that for a long time, that in a lot of subjects, um, there should be some kind of follow-up um, that's factored into the evaluation. Because, for example, if you teach content methods, um, as several of us do, um, any kind of methodology course, and um, sometimes students don't, don't realize the impact of it until they go outside, yeah. that they graduate and they go outside. And um, so there's many times I've had students who didn't like me at the time. You see them later on, they're like, wow, yeah, your course really made a difference. I use your framework or whatever it is. <laughs> and that's not factored in. Um, I was not one of your students, but yeah, I used your framework. So yeah, so that's um, something that we, I think, need some discussion on yeah. that. Because for that, you talked about, um, both you talked about point estimates um, not using point estimates, um, but also one point in time um, taken at the end of the semester when usually students are yeah. particularly stressed. Yeah. 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 Not, yeah. I question the, uh, the validity yeah. of that. Yeah. But if you look back at your teachers, do you have the same ideas on no, those? Because I, I do. But, but it, uh, I didn't but, use to write my statistic teachers. Yeah. And this did. I always like my statistics. <laughs> <laughs> so that's an, indeed as a question. Uh, that, that's a, a fine uh, suggestion for a suggestion for further future research. Well, thanks for your presentation and Thank of you. course for the advice of giving something sweet before the assessment. <coughs> I think it's going to be really helpful. <laughs> and my question is about, do you know any research uh, relating the assessments of the students with the assessments of your colleagues, if there is any kind of correlation yeah. between there are them? On that. There's a modest correlation between uh, peer ratings and uh, student uh, evaluation of teaching. And, and the correlation is high. 
is high or is uh, 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 yeah yeah the assessment of peers your colleagues external evaluation yeah. and the evaluation of the students. Yeah. I should look it up, but it's a, a, a modest correlation. Okay. Not as high as the correlation in the alumni ratings. Yeah. And to, to be uh, clear, the study by humans and me uh, with the chocolates, take it with a piece of salt. <laughs> as you say, uh, <laughs> I, I, I just mentioned but is this I, don't think, I don't think that's an important study. But is, is it Belgian <laughs> study, that one? What? Is a Belgian study? A Belgian? No, 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 no. I mean, for the top of it, maybe. Ah, no, no, it's no, a kind no, of promotion no, of the national. I will replicate it. It was an American study, but okay. I will replicate it. The, the Belgian chocolate. Maybe you have stronger effects. Yeah, I will do that. Yeah.